Uh, I was in about 20 minutes into a video doing the whole little uh, day three recap, the end of whatever, and then the um, camera said, um, you haven't uh, erased your old stuff and I'm um, sorry, but your SD card is gonna like lose its marbles. So I stopped it and I was like, oh, and then I was like, you know what, just read boot. We'll see, maybe I'll do some kind of whatever. I hope this will just be it. Oh, I could talk, obviously, I, well, I did. I talked 20 minutes worth of stuff. Um, bought more, you know, stuff, obviously. I talked to tons of people. Um, got, I'm so happy that Bailey uh, from work uh, ran her game twice. Um, I'll talk to her later. Hope it went well. Um, regardless, man, she got some experience to do that type of stuff, so I'm really happy. I will say, that, say this as well. I was touched on several uh, several fronts from different people due to the fact that, well, the person that did this fabric, uh, she remembered me from last year. She was like, oh, you bought some stuff from me. We talked for a while and so and so. I was like, whoa, trip, man. Um, uh, what else did she make for me? Oh, my God, this thing. So I wanted a dice bag, and when I touched it, I was I love I love green the fabric. And it was it's so soft. It's I can't even I I can't really properly explain to you. You'd have to touch it. Um, she also makes these leftover fabric uh, uh, bits. She makes buttons and fridge magnets. They just looked really cool. And for every three you buy, you get one uh, one free. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get six. And I gave one to Bailey. It was into gems uh, about gemstones and um, you know the big the big ass uh, uh, quartz crystals that you'll type of see. Uh, you know, uh, not um, um, you get the idea. Anyways, um, oh, sorry. Oh my mind! It's just it's just been so much stuff uh, today. I'm just trying to process. And like I said, I just did a 20 minute thing. Um, so I was happy to give her, a, I just said, here, Bailey, and I also gave her a scratch and roll, or what, a scratch and, um, reveal number. I think it's a D20. Yeah, it's a D20. That, uh, the fabric person does this. So we talked for a while. It was super nice. Um, what else did I get from her? Well, I got that, obviously, and then I got this mini dice bag. Oh. And, um, oh, it was so nice to, um. I just got this mini dice. Well, I loved it. Uh, I wish I purchased more because, uh, especially after Crispy Galactic was talking about, oh, my kids loved your bling. I was like, oh my god. I just feel like, you know, I'm like, and I was thinking gifts, like if Chris, she can do gifts type things. And it reminded me of Jules Verne type of thing. And yet again, remember, she's using a, uh, she's using, um, fabric, you know, so no one else is going to get this exact whatever. There was like another brassy looking Jules Verne thing, but didn't have this balloon thing right there at the spot. And I kind of like the bag, the dice bag had like a bit of a dragonfly uh, look to it here. I know it's more of a whatever, but you can see. And uh, I was allowed to pick the micro dice that I got and I thought, okay, they look great with the brass and it, there's some good contrast there. I was like, right on. I picked this up uh, from Bob. I love Bob to bits. You're gonna talk, I hear about Bob quite a bit in a minute. Um, uh, this is just, I'm just gonna pilfer the rules uh, from it for, cry, for crying out loud, that's for sure. This is another Bob thing. This is not even going anywhere near the last video. Interesting. I saw this on Friday. I said, hey Bob, can you put this aside? He does this for a lot of people. 15 bucks, he, um, has his own. We talked about Sun Tzu for quite a while, talked about the Folio Society, talked about how Sun Tzu can be incorporated. And he's like, oh, I know it's not cryptic. You think it is? I'm like, I know, dude. Oh my God, it was, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. He's one of the organizers. His best friend right beside him is the organizer as well, core, core organi organizers for uh, the military hobby show. And it's due there to try to get money to help these people that, you know, like whatever. And I was like, oh man, I'm like, it's coming up on the 2nd of Jan uh, June. I'll try to um, for sure go and I'm going to advertise it for, that's for sure. So yeah, like I said, she makes a ton of buttons. Um, you know, I got a map one and I've got a, another one in my backpack up there. Uh, up, uh, the person that made made the hedge witch 
Also, do, does this frog is ruining my dungeon crawl? When I read it this morning, I purchased one and read it this morning. I went, oh my God, I love this so much. I've got to buy another one and give it to somebody as a gift. It's just a light hearted, good dungeon crawler. It really is. This one's a bit more meaty. Meaty as in it's like maybe like, you know, you didn't have a starving cat, um, uh, you know, eat the bones raw or whatever. But it's uh, it's nowhere near like proper or whatever. Done. We've done that. We've done that. Uh, we'll talk about the designer's workshop. I hope. Well, well, let's talk about it now. So that was the last thing I did. It was the only thing I signed up for. I, like I said, I was touched. Or maybe I said it in the other video. I don't know anymore. I was touched so much. Uh, even this morning, I was leaving. I felt a bit, a bit of a dick. But I don't like it when people do a cat call thing for me. Uh, these, oh, these ones always are in my pocket, but I was using it f for my little bag here. I picked up these three um, to compensate for this. It was only two dollars. So I got this for two bucks. When I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna pretend, and it's so bizarre because it's starting to become ultra fragile already. I was like, I saw this, and I was like, mm, it's like balsa wood or something. I only paid two dollars for it, and I went, I'm gonna pretend Zoe Popova uh, keeps this as a keepsake. Um, you know, even though she's on the front and I'm going to like see how long I'm going to maybe like wander around. I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, so I picked that up and I got grabbed these three extra dice for them. They were a dollar each just to make it an even five for the poor bastard. Um, I got this free uh, from the person that made this stuff. And I went back to her today. We had a good long tongue wag. Um, I said to her, oh, actually I can show you because I think I've got my shirt off. Hold on. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Like I can't see anymore. I'm like in the front of the camera for Christ's sakes. Um, I can't there. Oh, I'll go here. Something like this. Um, so I said, hey, uh, is it all right? Like I don't know if it's mechanically you can do it anymore because you've like, you know, played around with the necklace. Uh, well, you made it yesterday. But uh, I said, to be honest with you, I was staring at it. The book is so lonely. Can you put another book there? Because I need a bookshelf. And she's like, no problem. She did it free. She did it F-R-E-E -E free. Uh, and then she's like, later on, she's like, look, I'm trying to get rid of some dice. Are you into yellow or green or something? And uh, I was like, oh, I love, uh, you know, crazy ass, love green. So, and she let me pick and I was like, oh, this looks pretty funky. Uh, it's home. Um, and then we talked about cross stitch for god awful ages and uh, her boyfriend's into retro gaming. I'm like, oh my god. And so we talked about that as well. And then uh, I said, hey, wait a minute. I so want to show you some of my um, um, cross stitch uh, stuff because, like I said, we were talking about cross stitch. And um, I was like, go to Nanguaya. Grab on YouTube. Nanguaya. Boom, boom. You'll see um, a bit of my cross stitch. So we got to talk about that. So Bob's friend, the co-organizer of that uh, hobby thing, I just picked up some 1 to 72 German and uh, American dudes. So that way, just on the off chance, if I ever want to do something like, hey, let's you know use these as whatever's done. Uh, we still have not talked about the designer's workshop. We got to talk about that soon enough. So remember, I think I mentioned to you that uh, my boss is into blue. She's also into hollow taco, which are like crazy, uh, really, really crazy um, colors you can get for some uh, nail polish. H O L O taco, I think it is. Anyways, I saw this. It, the person does the fabric stuff. And I said, oh, this will go well with my uh, boss's dice that I, pick, I picked up for her because she's into blue and blah, blah, blah and whatnot. And remember, <laughs> oh, my God, what a weird world. So um, my boss was, uh, uh, she got married on, on the, uh, the total so solar eclipse just a little while ago. So I said, oh, yeah, you know, like this. And, and the person says, Oh my, oh, that's part of my Eclipse collection. <laughs> I'm like, give me a break. The dice I pick comes with these suns and moons, whatever, like for the micro dice. So she's getting the little, you know, the micro bag. <laughs> I was just like, this is just getting crazy weird. Um, so Bob, uh, I'm just looking around. He's got the Great War at Sea scenario book, Dreadnoughts. Um, 
He's like, oh my god, Chris, I just thought it was, I didn't even know, I just picked it up, I just saw Manil, uh, envelope, wasn't even really looking. Then, uh, he put this aside for me and I didn't know. And I was grabbing it, not because I want to play the game. The irony is I kept dropping counters on the floor while I was looking at it. It's the double blind system. It's got two maps. I guess the Germans don't know where the hell the Americans are going to paratroop in. I don't know. I just want to read the uh, rules and pil pilfer them. Um, and I said, hey, you know, Bob, I got to go do this, that, or the other thing. I'll talk to you later. And... Um, I said, but I got to square up with you before, um, he, like he holds stuff for people all the time. And um, I said, I got to square up with you before two o'clock because I've got my designer's workshop, RPG designer's workshop thingamajig. He's like, yeah, no worries. I said, so put your thinking cap on, tell me what you want for this. And, uh, you know, I'll say yeah or nay. He's like, all right, Chris, I forgot to give it to him. I go back, it's not there. I'm like, well, you snooze, you lose. So we go to talk and he goes, Chris, I'm not kidding you. He goes, like, not even a minute later, you left, and someone, he goes, I was about to put it aside, I was talking to somebody else, and then somebody was going coming over, and he goes, how much you want for this? He goes, Chris, I was going to offer you 25, uh, so I didn't want him to take it, in a weirdo way, you know what I mean? And, oh, he's such an honorable person. And um, so I offered, I said, 40. The guy was going to take it, but he couldn't, um, here's the kicker, he couldn't um, determine whether or not, like, no one could verify if there was 360 counters or whatever. Um, there is. I went and did a count. They're fine. Um, like I said, it's just weird that I wanted the, anyways, he gave it to me for 25. He's such a sweetheart. Then later on, I picked up this uh, the Sun Tzu thingamajig. Uh, he also has a copy. Well, we talked about Sun Tzu from here, there, and tomorrow. Um, just he's like, oh, you know, people think he's cryptic and you know, and blah blah blah, and it could be used. I'm like, I know. The weird thing is, I wanted to grab a deck of cards from him. Uh, and I didn't realize there's also. I think you can use this as a normal. It uh, doesn't matter. I'm home now. I don't need to uh, buy a deck of cards. The only other thing I can say, oh, I did pick up some of these things. He gave this to me free. It was funny. He saw this. I saw this little metal toy. I said, what the hell? You, like, you don't tell me about whatever. He's like, oh, my God. I mean, he shows me his little box. It's one to 72 scale. He gave this to me free. It's missing struts. It's broken. I said, the only nice thing is, is that uh, I don't have to worry about it breaking on the way home. It's already done for me. It's because I saw this when after he showed me, I went, uh, that's a spad. Hello, Earth Calling, my favorite flipping plane, spad 13. And, um, we talked about it. I said, because also for, you know, beginner modelers, straight up strats, so, so on and so forth. So it's like, oh, come on, man. I'm just having fun. I got that for five bucks. You threw this in as well. Um, let's see. We're not sure. Maybe a new port, but it's also got a uh, fairly, I'll take a look. He, he found the propeller for me. He had a bazillion other ones, but I was like, no, no, I, I, well, I have no way of bringing them home. Alrighty, you're almost done. We'll get down to the whatever. So he's about to throw out a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. He's like, Chris, I, like, I'm just chucking it. I can't, like, I don't have time to organize it and blah, blah, blah. He goes, he goes, anything you see in that box, you can take home. You want to take the whole box home? You can. I think I saved them or whatever. So I said, uh... Can you see, you see this giant Ziploc bag here, man? He's like, yeah. I said, uh, there's a couple of games in here. He's like, oh, but I mean, I'm like, dude, look. Uh, anyways, uh, all of Coral Sea, I don't know who makes it. All of Coral Sea was in there. And all of, uh, Battle of Midway was in there. He just needs to reorganize them. And, uh, a Europa, a Europa map. I was like, you got money there. And like I said, he was just going to give it to me free or, you know, throw it in the garbage. I was like, no, don't do this. So I grabbed it. This all started because I saw this that he had listed or just put aside. I got it for $5, I think, or free. But I was like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm going to use this for RPG potentially. Some old ship stuff. And I was thinking of Charles Latour actually when I saw it. Jeez, I haven't sent out his stuff yet. Hmm. Actually, he would use it a lot more than I would. Interesting. All right. I like that. That's going to Charles Latour. Um, 
Yeah, so, and then he said, Chris, I think I've seen some other stuff that could potentially be part of the, he goes, if you think it is, just take it. And that's when we got into the box thing. And I was like, uh, I felt weird, you know what I mean? He's like, just take whatever you want. Um, so I kind of grabbed whatever, well, like I said, he was going to throw it in the garbage. Um, I don't know, like, I'm just using, uh, grab things that I thought had potential, quite frankly, uh, for anything. Um, the lands of the Celts. That looks, you know, like, come on, man. I was just like, okay, you're coming home. I, I you, you have potential. Ah, oh, Charles the Toro, man, you're getting that. That makes total sense. I think he'll, uh, he can do something with that. Like, because he was like, um, Bob was saying that uh, potentially those little, uh, like these things, maybe you put them like on a fleet and then when you get into the close action, but yeah, you know, I can see Charles the Toro. Charles, man, it's all, it's written all over you. Uh, like I said, these are just things I just grabbed out of the box, super duper quick. I want to go back into the designer workshop thing with Jig quickly to talk about Sport Kings with another map. I was just like, okay, if I see a map, you're in. Um, you're in. Uh, then there's this thing. It looks like it's the, well, it's not World War One. I. I was getting excited, but it says Bismarck, so it must be World War Two. Um, anything else? Just those planes. I think you saw them. Um, oh, no, no, no. He was going to chuck these out, too. He's like, what the hell are you going to do with those? I'm like, I'm in heaven. Look at this. Get ready for this. Look at this. He just gave them to me. Assorted counters from Lord knows where. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I feel fantastic. Oh, my God. He's like, what are you going to do with this? You don't even know what game it is. I'm like, well, take me time. It doesn't matter, even if I can't figure it out. Or, like, it's probably from a bazillion different games. I'm happy. Um, I'm like, we we're already talking. I'm like, I can identify this, that, or the other thing. I can see patterns. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, cheaper is jumping. I'm just happy to have them. I, lo I love, um, you know, I said it's going to um, satiate a lot of little mental quirks in me. So that's great. Um... Let's talk about the designer's workshop thing that Majig that I did while you stare at funky stuff. Um, it wasn't what I expected and then it kind of was and then wasn't. I was really happy. Here, pop on. Good old can games, dude. I don't even know if you can see him. Um, yeah, so I thought it was going to be more of a lecture type stuff and it wasn't. I was like, did you not read it? It said workshop. So the person that was selling these, he said, no, no, uh, you, uh, he's a really good designer. He is. Uh, or person to talk about game design. Um, he really knows how to get going. It was, yeah, it was fascinating. Uh, that's why I said during our break, we had a break. Thank goodness. Uh, I think a lot of them did, uh, were happy. Um, well, it's just a lot. I mean, it's later, you know, it's the late part of the year uh, of the convention. And I'm sorry, you know that notice I was talking to Todd, one of the major, major organizers. He was looking for people um, to um, grab because people <laughs> were like uh, bailing out at the end. Did I mention that Bailey Wright? Uh, I'm not sure. We'll take a look at the video. Yeah, my friend Bailey Wright, she did play her game. She got one of my little, I don't know, like I said, I, I did two videos or I'm doing it. Uh, second video. Oh, I just wanted to tell you so much and just share some, um, just whatever. It, it was just, um, God, I almost never want to leave that place, but I left it. You know what I mean? It's like, as you got, I have to do other things, but why can't the world just be, oh, oh. Anyways, um, I can't even remember what the other oh, designers workshop. So, uh, yeah, so it was weird. So I thought at first it was going to be a lecture and I was like, no, uh, I was talking to the the distributor for this and he's like no I think you're actually going to be continuing on from what the people did last year so they were the concept artists you're going to be the designers and or whatever and we got to the point where he said okay we've now designed the game it's now down to the playtesting phase and it was an RPG about uh and felt like um we were almost like a combination of old um uh, basically, mythical creatures exist, but they don't mean the running down the street or whatever. We have to investigate based on rumors. We find rumors to... Uh, there's still dice rolling. I was really... 
uh, one of the first things they mentioned, uh, we had to start talking about like what you think is important for this RPG to go forward. And my, my first thing was we need a metric. We need something to find out failure, um, success and progress and uh, constraints. Is, that, is it based on a time period? Uh, what have you? We can't just like, I, I don't want to go off into narrative land completely, even though I know it's like we found the focus. It was for journal writers, that type of stuff. I'm like, but you still want to have two to six players or whatever. We started talking about a solo component. I said, um, let's. I'm sorry, don't look. There were six personalities. I was nowhere near the strongest. But when I said my stuff, I was absolutely stunned that um, uh, I'm not saying it was listened to completely, but I was like, it seemed to have a bit of an impact. I was like, whoa. Because um, I said, look, uh, we also need to like have a th figure out some. You know, you dilly dally forever. Maybe it's going to a lot because one of the things was the monsters. The more you investigate them or what have you, they become more uh, dangerous or whatever. Um, I was like, you, you know, if we dilly dally or the characters dilly dally forever or for whatever, or you guys want consensus, we need to have enticements for the consensus. We need to find out when people do not have consensus or there is a disagreement or whatever, it's going to cause a possibility that the monsters can get, you know, worse and so on and so forth. Uh, it was interesting. That you, well, I was um, on so many fronts uh, due to the fact that one, it was like bef I was spiking home and I was like, Chris, this used to be something that was orders of magnitude beyond something like beyond your anxiety threshold. Now it's just a anxiety producer. It's no longer, um, are you out of your, uh, there's no way in hell I would ever do something. You know, it was amazing. Um, someone saw me this morning or, uh, from last year's like, Hey, pocket battles, man, that type of stuff. I was just like, what the hell? It just felt good. You know? And then there was uh, another time, um, Someone uh, was I uh, was trying to get Iron Twisted into playing Doctor Who uh, role, uh, role, um, miniatures game this afternoon because I've played it before. I've talked to the, uh, one of the uh, whatever. So was, just, later on, I just felt touched. I was like, these people remember me, um, or you know, whatever. I, I just felt weird, like weird. Uh, like, I don't know. Um, like what the hell. Um, and then another time uh, I was going out to get some uh, a sip of my molten water from my wa uh, water bottle, which I left on the bike. And um, a guy I played Seven Years War with a ton of times, uh, miniatures, I haven't done it in a few years, because um, I've just been doing other stuff. Um, and he, remember, that was my marquee event. I was like, but last year I don't think they did a pro I don't know, I'm gonna have to go and talk to him. I should talk to him and find out what's gonna happen next year. And uh, I said, hey, how did it go? And he's like, uh, well, not pretty good. And he goes, uh, I missed you there. I was expecting to see you at the table. I was like, oh, my. I just, I was so touched. I was just like, wow. And I uh, helped him uh, bring his stuff. Like, you know, he doesn't live in Ottawa. And I was helping him bring his stuff up. He was for, waiting for his ride. And he's like, oh, thank you so much. And I was like, I hope to see you, you know, see you next year. I didn't say hope to see you next year. It's like, see you next year. He's like, yeah, you too. So I was just like, okay, you know, I'm just going to have to go and play those miniature seven years war games again and uh, whatever. And um, it just feels weird to be like, um, they didn't have to say you're included. It's like, it, it was just a given, you know, it was kind of neat. I, I think I, I hope to God say again, but uh, my friend Bailey, from work, she ran her game twice. Uh, was super nice to see her there. I hope she learned. Um, even you know, if it didn't go well or it didn't go the way she expected, maybe it went beyond what she expected. I have no idea. Um, I hope she uh, keeps going and is not. Uh, I hope she's motivated from it and wants to um, uh, push further. Uh, being a game designer and uh, you know. Um, She's she's there. She's one of them, or she's one of us, or whatever the hell. Uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, I'll go do things. I'll take a look at uh, this video. Um, I'm gonna have to snap back into um, getting ready for uh, Saturday's live stream and doing the daily stuff. I still have not uh, voiced out the uh, the war summary. I swear to God, it will be it'll come out by tomorrow. Um, I don't want to wait wait too long. 
Um, did I mention that the, the, the person I wanted a necklace from, uh, or I got the necklace from yesterday, um, I said to her, um, I probably didn't. I said to her, uh, well, I did in the last video, I said to her, um, uh, I not, I'm not sure if this is mechanically able to, you know, you're able to do it. Can you put a second book, um, brass book on this thing? Because it just seemed lonely. Like, I, I like bookshelves and all that type of stuff. And uh, she said, sure. And while we're yabbering away, she put it on and um, free. I went to go pay her and she's like, no, no, nothing. Ah, oh, we chat about cross stitch afterwards, and her boyfriend's into retro gaming, and we talked about retro gaming, and oh my god, and I got to show her my channel because I was trying to show her an example of my cross stitch, and I was like, oh, I can't. I always like, oh my god, wait a minute, I think my channel thing has my uh, my dragon, and oh my god, we had I just um, oh, I was really nice to her. I you know I said to all the vendors, I hope to God to see you guys next year because. Um, you know, you guys are just a, a just a joy. Uh, yeah, now I have to, like I said, I'll just go and um, try to reorient my universe or whatever, but I still want to digest, and he's going to send us um, the proto rules or whatever about um, this, um, I can't remember what the hell it was called, but it was almost like a blend of, um, felt like uh, the original Kolchak, uh, the Night Stalker, uh, meets um, Prince of Darkness <laughs> in not the monsters because the monsters are actually um, uh, made as you do the narrative but um, yeah it was interesting to see them um, pull constantly between board game and uh, RPG and I was happy to hear that because from my point of view it's like if you guys are having that issue that means you're not going off into complete 100% narrative land and I don't want that either. That's just creative writing. That's not, that's not, um, you know, an RPG kind of thing. Like, no, we, at least in me, I know I don't want to get into like a super, um, that's what happens. People start, um, having to uh, label every goddamn flipping thing and next thing you know it's like well is that a light 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 you know, oh, just leave it alone is it a f effing game and are you happy playing it then let's go i understand when you get into game design and so on and so forth you need to figure out what the hell your audience is oh my god one of the guys david um said and it was fantastic to hear he goes um uh one thing I remembered about when trying to design a game, I was told, is not to design a game that you want to uh, play, but you want to teach. And I went, oh my God, that sounds extremely similar in an odd way to uh, writing, which is show, not tell. Um, one of the mottos. I was like, oh, wow. That's it. Oh my God. I will show this one because it uh, gold pieces kept coming up. Um, today. So that was another one that she did. There's her little thingamajigamabob. That's it. I hope you guys have a, um, and yes, per usual, uh, people uh, acknowledging um, the videos that I'm doing and just uh, interacting with me. Um, do you have any idea how grateful I am? Probably not, but um, I just love you guys to bits because this is, um, I can't believe I'm part of you guys, like, you know, we'll do this. Well, I love you to... Oh, I'm not going to get it. Well, I am. I'm going to love you to chits. Nah. Okay, hope you're having a great old time. See ya. <laughs>